the Civilian Conservation Corps. One of the most popular programs implemented by Franklin Roosevelt as part of the New Deal was the Civilian Conservation Corps, also known as the CCC. What was the CCC? Who was it intended for? The Civilian Conservation Corps was started in March of 1933 as a work relief program. It was intended to provide jobs for young unmarried men age 18 to 25 who were out of work due to the Great Depression. In July of 1933, there were 250,000 young men enrolled, working in 1,463 different camps. When one became a member of the CCC, he signed a commitment to participate in the program for a minimum of six months. At the conclusion of this time period, he could choose to enlist for another six months. The maximum limit was a total of four terms, or two years, that one could stay in the program. Each enlistee was required to take a physical examination prior to joining. Physical fitness was important because of the demanding labor that would be involved. Each CCC worker was given meals, housing, a uniform, and $30 a month. 25 of the $30 was sent home to their parents. The workers lived in camps and were housed in barracks, 50 workers to a tent. Aside from the barracks, the CCC camps also featured an education building, a medical facility, a mess hall, a recreation area, restrooms and showers, a tool room, and blacksmith shop, and garages. The primary function of the CCC was to conserve natural resources and clean up the national parks and forests. Their very first projects related to soil erosion control in Alabama. Soil erosion projects became especially important in the Great Plains states, which were being ravaged by the Dust Bowl. One of the most important CCC projects was reforestation, or planting trees. The trees were needed to serve as wind blocks, which helped control the soil erosion problem. Before long, CCC camps were all over the country, tackling many different kinds of tasks. CCC projects included everything from building fire lookout towers, roads, and airport landing fields, to controlling insects and diseases, fish stocking, and eliminating predatory animals. They also constructed terraces, built dams, and established campgrounds. By 1940, the program started reducing significantly. The Great Depression was approaching its end, and there was less need for employing young workers. In 1941, when the United States entered World War II, this need became even less, because most men of this age were either enlisting or being drafted to help in the war effort. The program was officially ended on June the 30th, 1942. At the time of its conclusion, the CCC had employed over 2.5 million young men. They had built over 97,000 miles of road, constructed more than 800 parks, and planted more than 3 billion trees. <laughs>